Hi, I'm Dar with the Healy Technology Report, and today we're going to have a look at how to change your digital receptionist, or auto attendant as it's normally called, on your 3CX phone system. So I'm going to take you into our 3CX phone system. This is version 15, so it looks a lot different than the earlier versions, and it's probably going to look a lot different than the later versions as well, uh, but let's jump right into it. Okay, so this is our corporate 3CX phone system. This is version 15, so earlier versions look a lot different. Future versions are probably going to look different again, but the concepts are the same. So in uh, 3CX, the auto attendant or IVR is called digital receptionist. So I'm going to click digital receptionist and you'll see here uh, all these concepts, like I, uh, like I say, are, are pretty common across all phone systems. We've got an extension or a reference number for each one of the menu parts for your auto attendant and really we tie all these together to make a more complex one. So we've got one here that says main open message. So we're going to open that up and that's going to be our open greeting. Now I am going to, uh, you can see the message here, we've got our extension number and we have our prompt. So this is what people are going to hear when they call in. So I'm going to click play. Now with 3CX what it does is ask me what phone do I want to listen to this on. And so I'm going to say 200 so we can listen to what it says here. My phone is ringing. I'm going to pick up and Welcome to Helia. If you know the extension of the person you wish to reach, please dial it now. So this is the greeting. Sales, please press 1. And this is important, press this part here. Press 2. For accounting, press 3. For accounting, 3. address, website, and other information, press 4. For office directory, press 5. So I'm going to hang up now. Uh, so what it said is, uh, for uh, for sales, press one. You can see here lower on my screen. Uh, it, when you press one, it goes to sales. When we press two, it goes to support. When we press four, it goes to hours message. And so, if I want a different hours message, I can simply go down here and select it in the list. Now, what happens if the message that you want is not in this list? Well, then you have to create it. So you want to create those sub menus first. Now the way we do that, I'm going to cancel out of here. I'm going to go into digital reception again, and we can go add, and we're going to add a new one. And we're going to call this one um, emergency support message. And we're going to uh, add it in as extension uh, 514. And then there's no prompt here. Uh, and it's none of these prompts that we have in the list. So what we want to do is record a new one. So what I'm going to do is hit record here. Uh, it's going to ask me the name. So I'm going to do uh, emergency support message. And this is just an example. So this isn't the real one. And then we're going to call it wave. Now it says, what? Uh, where do you want to record this from? And we're going to record it from extension 200. That's my extension again. So I'm going to click uh, OK. My phone is going to ring. And then I'm going to answer it. Now normally I would do this not from the speaker phone, uh, but I would record it from the handset. Message, then press pound. Uh, thank you for calling uh, Helia. Uh, we do offer emergency support after hours. Uh, to reach us on our uh, support line, please call 403-668-7895. Now I press the pound button. To save message, press zero. And then I press the zero button. Your message saved. So my message is now saved, uh, and so if I go in and I look at the list of prompts, uh, I should see one that says emergency. Now I don't see the emergency, I actually have to refresh the screen here. Um, so we're going to refresh the screen, and now if I look for my prompts again, there's my emergency support message. So now I can click OK. Uh, where are we? Up at the top here. Okay, to save this, and then I'll have option 514 to add into my menu structure. Now, I could also say to reach someone on their cell phone, press 1, and then what I would do is I would say, okay, I want to transfer to directly to Darwin when you press 1. That's me. Uh, and so you can add additional options here. Now, obviously, I need to, you need to say those options in the prompt or otherwise. Uh, no one's going to know to press them, but that's how you would add it. 
uh, and then the other options here you can say you know if somebody presses a number that's not valid or an extension that's valid what's going to happen and then uh, what happens if no nothing is entered and now this is important for a sub menu because after the message is played and uh, uh, w what do you want to have happen and normally with a sub menu what we're going to do is, uh, I don't know why it's called IVR here, that's kind of weird. Uh, we're going to call this uh, main open message. And then we're going to click OK. And then, um, great, and so now we have a 514 here. And if we go back into our main open message, And then uh, we are going, then we can go and say, you know, option A would be for our emergency. So we're going to go uh, and uh, connect a digital receptionist and um, emergency support. So now if you press 8, it plays the message. And if you pressed 1 from that menu, it would ring my extension. Okay, so anyways, this is Dar with Helia. Uh, I hope that was of uh, some help. Uh, you can read more on our, our website, officephonesystems.ca, or our online store, buyphonesonline.ca. Uh, appreciate your time. Thanks for watching.